So big potting maggots is a real big favourite of mine. And what I mean by that is, is, is basically feeding and leaving. So if I'm targeting big carp and I'm talking about, you know, your double fish, then big units, I've got to put an amount of bait in that's actually going to get them into the swim for a start off and there's enough bait there to actually get the reds down. Sometimes it's just a quantity of bait that you're actually looking for to actually get them in and get the reds down. Sometimes not a handful, it's just not enough, especially for them big, big fish. So sometimes you need a lot of maggots, but sometimes it's like two, three handfuls. Again, there you can see three quarters of a big cup that's what sometimes you're looking for to get them big fish in and get the reds down. Coupled with this, it doesn't always where you can just cup it in and just follow them in. That does work some days, but you've also got days when I want to feed that and then I want to leave it for probably anything up to five minutes. Probably you've just got to get your timings right on the day. Just got to get a feel for it. But what I've found is, is one sign that you can look for is when you actually do go in, whether it's after three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, the quicker you get your bite, normally they've been in a little bit longer and there's very little bait left. Sometimes if you go in and you're getting liners and indications, it tells you that there's still plenty of bait there and maybe two or three fish there. So if you go in, and you get a bite straight away, normally tells you we're on the last legs of your bait, and you've probably got your timings about right, less foul looking fish. So if you go in, you're getting liners, just leave it for just next time you, you try to repeat it, just give it an extra minute or so, and then just to see if that gets your timings spot on. Give it a whirl.